Hello, hi, and welcome to another, well, it's not really Tier Tuesday, um, you will see that in a moment, but welcome to another video. Um, why is it not Tier Tuesday? Because I want you to play around at home, like almost everyone is stuck at home these days. That's why I'm putting a lot of effort in my software here, and this one in the playground. The newest version can be downloaded from my website, link is in the description below. Um, I have made a lot of improvements. I went through the comments that you put on my video and in the forum. I will put a link to that in the description below. Um, and I have implemented a lot. So uh, yeah, in the level selection, go to playground and you will see, hey, the conveyor, this one we already know, right? This is the one from last time. So I haven't really changed a lot there. It's still the same. You can still hit tab for the IO list and you see I've implemented controls and there's some differences. There's some news. So really, really cool things. Keep posting those comments, keep posting those improvements because I need them to improve this software for you, for me, for everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, we can look around, we can move. Uh, left click is activate. So if I go somewhere, you can now see, hey, green circle means, hey, I can press this thing, right? I can press this thing, press this thing, press this thing. This is not perfect yet, um, but well, it's okay. Then I can see here, hey, activate. Blop. Then we have a uh, left hold. If I go on top of one of those workpieces, I can now hold and actually put the workpiece somewhere. You can see it, Blop. I can drop it somewhere, I can toss it away, Whoa, and it's gone. I can make a new one. I implemented a second workpiece like this cylinder thing here, uh, this capsule thing here. I can put that now on the conveyor here. If I would hit, I can put it on the conveyor and now work with this on the conveyor. It now has a manual override. Those relays here, those are manual overrides. I can click them, you can see green circle. <clears throat> then something, thanks to a comment, I forgot the name, um, but thank you. Um, Backspace is now toggle full screen because right now if I want to work in with Tia Portal and this together, you need at least two screens. That's kind of annoying. If you want to work on one screen, just hit um, backspace while in this room. It doesn't work in the main menu. It only works in this room. Hit ba uh, backspace and there we have it. Now this is floating around. I can now take my tier portal and just put it next to it, right? So that's one improvement that, that I actually like. If you want to go back, hit backspace again. Um, tab is open, close this. R is restart, restart this room here. <clears throat> um, now with those dragging, all components that drop from the conveyor, <laughs> that was a bug. <laughs> All components that drop from the conveyor are placed on the ground. You can pick them up. If you want to get rid of them, just toss them in the box. Good. Now, big update, right? So those were just implementations from the comments and everything that, that, that's been there um, and some improvements. Huge update here is this thing, right? Is this thing. This is for you to play around now. Um, download the newest version and you can play around with this. This is a tank system. It does not look pretty. I can, you can tell it is not really pretty. It is just an analog tank system. We have on the top, we have a valve that you can open and close with the PLC using an analog output. I'll show that in a minute. We have on the bottom here, we have a manual valve that you can open and close by pressing the plus and minus button. So if I hit plus, you can see the current flow out of the system is 0 0.6 liters. That is more than the inflow. Inflow is 14 uh, deciliters, 0 0.14 liters. And outflow is now, well, 60, 600 uh, milliliters. If I hit it higher, go to 100%, you see it is not perfect. That's what I meant with not perfect. It's right now filling in and emptying, filling in. Maybe let's not do that too much. I'm still working on that part, right? And now it's ba it's filling in again. Maybe keep it at, oh, the input is actually too low. 0 0.14 liters is very, very a few. You can always see there is also a PSC input. Here on the right side, we see how much is in the tank right now. That is a, an analog input. So we have an analog output on the top and an analog input here on the uh, right side for the fill level. If you hit tab, you can see on the bottom left there. Output word 100 is the inlet valve, that thing. Output um, 
yeah, input word 100 is the fill level. So how high are we right now? So basically this uh, value. So we can work, you can work with those now. This is, this, this is exactly the same setup as I showed in the previous video on this topic. So if you don't know how to work with this software, check out my previous video. This is exactly the same. But now we have this tank system and let's check it out. Let's maybe go to not full screen for this anymore. Let's put that somewhere here on the side. I have my tank <clears throat> and here I have my TIA portal and you can see right now on the top, my maximum flow is two liters. I have set it to maximum flow of two liters. Um, and my PLC output is at 2000. So my output word to is in decimal format right now, 2000. If I set this to, let's say 5000. And of course, this is just a, um, a watch table. If I now hit modify, you see right now in the software, it says PLC output is 5000. Ingoing flow is 360 milliliters per second or 0.36 liters. The maximum value was is this famous 27,676, uh, something like that. I always forget the value. What's the maximum? Yes, that's it. This is the maximum usually used for PLC outputs, right? It's 27,676. Pretty strange number, but that's how it is. And you see the tank fills up way faster because well, the input flow is way higher. Let's set that to maybe 10,000, which is like a third, maybe a third of the pump power. Um, you can see the current flow is zero because, hey, the tank is full. What can I do? I can open the lower part. Let's open the lower part a little bit more. Let's open it like this much, whatever that is. Right now I have 1.4 liters flowing out of the tank and 0.72 flowing into the tank. So we can even open up the valve on the top a little bit more or close the bottom one if you want to have a stable value. So if you want now a stable value, what could we do? So if I want the current level to be at 25 liters, the total tank is 50 liters. If I want the current level to be stuck at 25, I could implement a closed loop control in my program. So the easiest would of course be, let's make a very easy closed loop control. Um, just the easiest uh, analog program that we could have is, um, I take this question mark block, I take a bigger, greater than sign or smaller than, doesn't matter. Uh, let's take, no, smaller than actually, smaller than. If our current fill level is lower than half the maximum, right? If our current fill level, that was IW100, input word 100, right? You can check that out here in the software. In, on the bottom left, input word 100 is the fill level, right? Input word 100, if this is below half the maximum value, half the maximum value, that's this 27,000 something. So let's say 13,000-ish. Um, what do we want to do? We want to turn on the pump at maximum power, right? So here we could have a move statement, for example, and we move this 27,676. Was it this? Ah, whatever, 27-ish. That's now working with analog values. I'm just giving you the tool, not teaching you. If you want to know how this analog processing and something works, check out my previous videos on analog processing. <laughs> so I want to push this value to my output, output word 100. That's the program. That's the program right now. So let's see if this works. Downloading, checking, loading, checking, and it is in the, um, in my program. So let's see right now. Let's let's restart the room to empty the tank. Restart the room. You see right now, what do you see? Completely on the top, the, um, the tank is not at half the value, so it's still filling. And you can see as soon as we hit um, 13,000, this program went off. What do we need? Of course, we need to turn off. So what do I want? If it is not like this, so we can put a not in here, just an inversion. If it's not like this, then we want to move a zero into my output. That's it. This is the simplest, simplest analog program right now. 
So let's see. Hit R. The simplest, you see it here on the bottom, the simplest and most easy analog program that we could build right now. So we're still below, we're still below, and now we hit it. This is, we are now above 13,000. Right? The one problem, of course, that we have now is we are a little bit higher, 13,063, because we have rushed it too much. What would we do? Of course, improve our controller here, have a hysteresis. I've made a video specifically on this. Maybe even add, and here it goes. That's actually pretty cool. It already works. I checked it. Don't use, do it like this. This is a simple on-off controller, the stupidest controller you could have, but very cheap, very easy. A better one would be a PID controller. You see it here, PID Compact. I just toss that in here, toss it in, let it, yeah, sure, whatever. I made a video about this. <laughs> um, have the set point at, let's say, 50%. That makes sense. The input, this should be our input word 100. The output should be our output word 100. All that's left to do is let's... Um, have this do some magic. What are the limits? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's the value actually. 27,648. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's almost, it's almost fine. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh no, the controller type, general and percent. Yeah, perfect. And I said I want it at 50%. So if I now download the program, it won't start yet. We will just have to Commission this controller. You can do all that now with my simulation software. Perfectly fine here. So commission it. Of course, it won't work. If you want to know exactly how it works, check out uh, my video on this. Now we have the analog output on. The the um, the controller is working, and you see, it is right now. The output is on at two point seven percent. That is not correct. Let's reset all of this, and let's see what our PID controller does here. You can see the PID controller does something. That's just right now what we can do with this software. Now, what you could do at home, that's why I build it for you to play around uh, with this at home. Have fun with this. Test out some things. Test out the software even more. Give feedback on it. Tell me, hey, I want to implement this. I want to implement that. Do not forget to put those this feedback, those questions, please put them in the uh, in the comments down on this video and also in the forum. There's been some activity, not too much, but some activity already in the forum. Um, check it out. There's a forum we have now. Uh, I will put the link in the description below. Forum, here you go. There's already some, some threads open and you see, hey, this already has 78 clicks. Pretty cool. And there's um, Factory Simulator. This is where you can download it. I will put that in the links uh, in the links in the comments below. Here you go. Oh, we already already have 350 downloads. Pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah. So, and you see, this is so cool. <laughs> Just seeing this line for me as an as an engineer, uh, as a um, automation engineer, this is already pretty cool. Seeing this line working like that, the system is not perfect yet. I can tell you, it's not perfect. It's it's everything else than perfect. Like my um, my little system here, you can see right now we're also at 33.87 because my controller is not perfect, that different story. But of course, a physical system is missing here. I will improve that by next week, right? I'm still, I'm constantly working on this. This is so much fun. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. And as always, if you're bored, if you've got some bucks, just throw them there. I'll put this thing here, this GoFundMe in the description below. Um, no need, of course, no need. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye-bye.